Hi, I'm Valley from Greenwood Solutions. Today's video is on RECs, STCs, LGCs, PPAs, what does it all mean? It's really important to learn all of this because there's a lot of confusion between what a renewable energy certificate is and a, and a small scale trading certificate, an STC. Step by step, what is a renewable energy target? What is the LRET and the SRES? Talk about system size and eligibility. LGC equals large scale generation certificate. What is it? And the STC equals small scale renewable energy certificate. And how is a commercial solar system selling price affected? The renewable energy target is an Australian government scheme designed to encourage the use of renewable energy by attaching a value to what that renewable energy will displace if otherwise drawn from another energy source. It's split into two parts. The large scale renewable energy target, which is the LRET, and the small scale renewable energy scheme, which is the SRES. Hard one to say. So solar PV systems up to 100 kilowatt are eligible for the SRES, and systems 100 kilowatt and above are eligible for the LRET. So one megawatt hour of energy, because remember energy has a time constraint, is equal to one renewable energy certificate. The number of certificates created is based on location. When the renewable system was installed, how much energy is or can be created. LGCs are created on a yearly basis based on the actual amount of energy generated. These are for solar PV systems, 100 kilowatt and over. One LGC is created for every megawatt hour the PV systems produces annually. Large scale generators provide an ongoing revenue stream, but selling price per watt of these systems is higher. It is the LRET that creates the LGCs. STCs are created on the expected output over X amount of years which is classed as the deeming period. These are for solar PV systems under 100 kilowatt. Usually offered as a point of sale discount. LGCs are not offered as a point of sale discount. I swear, LRET, LGCs, STCs, RECs, it should be some kind of rap song, but it's surprising how many people are confusing these terms. A lot of people think an STC is an, R is an REC, and it is but it's an REC is also an LGC. So what happens with these STCs? They're a tradable commodity and therefore subject to market forces. Specific companies trade in them. The renewable energy target creates demand for renewable energy and requires liable entities to surrender an amount of renewable energy certificates in proportion to the electricity they acquire in an assessment year. So how does this affect the design of a commercial solar system? Well, with systems below 100 kilowatt, initial dollar watt cost is less than the larger systems. And this is because the STC can be offered as a point of sale discount. So it is deducted from the cost of the system. Some systems may be designed below the 100 kilowatt threshold based on the above. Large systems have to be presented slightly differently in regards to a, uh, the, the, the particular formal uh, proposal used by the renewable energy company. A power purchase agreement or a PPA or electricity power agreement is a contract between two parties. One which generates electricity, the seller, and one which is looking to purchase the electricity, the buyer. So the PPAs are an interesting one. Classic example is a solar company or finance company or solar developer approaching a business and saying, we want to use your roof. We, we see it as solar real estate. We will put on a system, it won't cost you a cent. And the advantage to you is that instead of paying, say, 20 cents per kilowatt hour, which you were paying before, now you pay 18. So you benefit and we benefit because we sell you the energy directly. We become your retailer. 
A PPA is the principal agreement that defines the revenue and credit quality of a generating project and is thus a key instrument of project finance. There are many forms of PPA in use today and they vary according to the needs of buyer, seller and financing counterparties. PPAs, what can I say about PPAs? Hey, hey. PPA contracts can be set up in two ways. All the energy produced by the system is purchased by the customer. That's what they use on site and also what they export. Or two, only the energy consumed by the business is purchased. The first contract is best suited to commercial customers having a low profile that typically matches solar generation. In other words, most of their loads are on during the day. The second contract is for customers, for example, who have high energy use in the morning and evenings, let's say for, for example a dairy. So they pay for the solar energy that is consumed on site, not the solar energy exported to the grid. Conclusion. The renewable energy target is split into two parts. The large scale renewable energy target, the LRET, and the small scale renewable energy scheme, the SRES, not SRES, it's too hard to say. LRET for systems 100 kilowatt and over, and SRES for systems under 100 kilowatt. PPAs are a contract between two parties, one the seller and one the buyer. My name's Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you have any questions, any inquiries, any answers, please feel free to contact us and please hit that subscribe button if you see fit. Thanks very much.